Look at that left yeah, rear tire. You see, he's got the smoke and that's the left rear left tire tires down. The pieces. And he's sideways getting in the corner. And now just hang on here because this is going to get big and ugly. Check out that camera angle. Great work, guys. And watch this thing when it goes back up the hill. Here, he, you think he's going to stay down? You think he's going to stay down? Go high, go high, go high. One made it. Bam! Oh, One what didn't. a lick in the driver's door. On our Fox Exmo Extreme Slow Mo Cam, both drivers have climbed from their cars. They are both okay. Look at that rear spring bouncing through the air. But that's just an, I mean, that's an incredible hit to the left rear of the 09 car. These cars are amazing. The way you can run into each other and, and walk away. We just said both drivers are out. They walked away. I can't believe it. Look up high. You see the flame right there on the right-hand side of your screen. There's Buckshot's car. Heavy fire on that race car. And Randy, as you talked about, at this point in time, now you're trying to get all your safety harnesses off, the belts, the, the hoses. You're encapsuled in this thing now. I mean, so it's Mark Mark. Another look to see the cars that took evasive action get out of the inside. And then that hard lick by Jeff Purvis in car number four. And look at that car. How Watch the left side of your screen. Two cars getting together, and then one gets sideways. Looked like that was the Dale Jarrett car. Brad Teague, I believe, the number Brad 75, Teague. the black and orange car, right at the middle of your screen, and he really Look how that racetrack is blocked. There's nowhere to go. Driving has nothing to do with it here. You're flying. There's just nowhere to go. Everything washes down, but people now have locked it up to try to miss the wreck. And uh, 28 on your chart. Well, oh, he had a little help, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, Jeff Green's front bumper and Boy Allen's left rear corner got together, and there he went. In turn number two is where the accident occurs. Jeremy gets the car a little bit sideways. He corrects and comes back and hits the wall head on. And there we'll see Mark Martin go by. Watch as Mark and the 75 car go by. They slow. Now, both those cars were able to go by. Now. Jeremy Mayfield is going down the straightaway, and all of a sudden, for some reason, the car goes back across the racetrack right in front Ooh. of Michael and the 44 car. Three pass. He was. God, what a shame. Mm. Well, Kurt Busch said he was out of gas. Dogs. Trying to pick him up right here. Looks like he just there gets he loose getting right through that corner there, BP. He just got loose getting in. He goes up, hits the outside wall, boom. And then he really comes across and hits the inside wall probably harder than he hit the outside, it seems like. Bang, wow. They make contact right there, and around goes Randy LaJoy. Unfortunately, the driver's side hits very hard getting into that corner. And if you follow NASCAR push... In the middle of your screen. Just drives all in the back of the four car, getting down into the first turn. And Steve Park able to spin and get away, but nowhere to go for Phil Parsons after that great run to get back on the lead lap. The man who is third in the point stand. Uh, you know, that one flow up here. Go high, go high, go high, go high, go high. Again, back there this time as they go back to turn one. And Martin's into the wall now. Trouble in turn number one. Mark spins out of control. The whole pack is involved. Car is tumbling through the air. Over and on. All twisting around and hit again as it comes back to the bottom of the racetrack in the corner. A savage crash in turn one. Several cars involved. Mark Martin's car sliding back down the racetrack. Here he comes. Here he is up here. It looks like he has a tire go down to me. It just looks like his car took off on him and bounced it into the fence. Looks like the right front may have gone on it too. And folks... They Keep are. an eye on the 09. Whoops, yeah. there it goes. See that tire let go right in the center of the corner. I think this harder tire has created some handling issues for some people that are having to. He just didn't. Oh. Todd squeezed between him and the outside retaining wall there, and Jimmy didn't know he was there. Uh, Let's watch for Mike McGlone. Turn four. Now he's already hit the wall in three. 
right up and into the fence. Now Tim Fedoa will spin his car right there off of Sterling Marlin, and that stacks everything up at the bottom of the racetrack. Car just got out from under Mike. You can hear the throttle. He gets in it, starts spinning the wheels. Andy, I don't think what most people realize with these race cars is if you're Good a pit stop, here he comes down on the inside of Derek Coat, and the car just simply the back end goes out from under him. Ted Musgrave was pretty close behind him. He tries to save it, but he can't do it. He goes around. There's Lake Speed coming up. Lake got by. It looks like Brett Bodine spun there, and there's Todd Bodine going by, and Morgan Shepard. But then this other stack of cars come by as he comes back down in the middle of the track. And there's, there's Nemechek. Yep. We see that Hensley's already had some damage. The 16 car also. To react. Now you can watch top of your screen. That's Nemechek behind the 31. Let's see what happens there with that oh. contact. I believe the problem was Nemechek ran into Burton, started to slow down. He saw what was happening, and Nemechek didn't slow down and knocked Jeff Burton into the wall. And that's why he's so frustrated. Trying to follow as well. Look out! Yeah, they got oh, trouble. Go. That uh, that might be a product of the earlier incident. The yeah, first incident. That could be a payback. And oh man, fire in the number one. Of going on behind the accident, I believe. There's Jason Keller coming up there as the oh. four car slowed down, and he gets up on top of Jeff Purvis. There's Mike Dillon in the 72 car. He gets involved and saw Earnhardt's car sitting on the outside, and that's Jason Keller's wheel, I believe, that we see bouncing up. Oh, it looks like Jamie Murray caught the left rear corner of Landon Castle. Oh, yeah. No wind, nowhere to go right there. Another 21. I think the 21 must have run over. It looks like he's going to take it. Seven car hits the wall hard and he gets into Randy LaJoy. And LaJoy, that this Fita was involved, he gets contact tackled from a three car Dale Earnhardt Jr. 74 right there. Some oh, there's something wrong with the double zero car. He has a flat tire or something and it's caught the 74 car. Bill Weber, right front tire, man. He blew the right front tire. Man, he goes down the corner right. He's the coming hand. off the second corner, and he gets the car out of shape. Same thing, I think, it happened to Ernie Irvin. He got a little bit too high. Goes up, just barely touches the rear. Now he goes around, and here comes Bill Elliott. <laughs> now, what did the right thing, Benny? We've always said drive towards the wreck if the car is in movement in front of you. Bill Elliott did that. Drove right towards him, and that's very fast. And what's at stake for him here? He's uh -oh, oh, trouble. trouble. Contact on the guys. It's Mike oh. Waltrip and now Brian Vickers. Oh. Robbie Gordon, 31. The that's time. Oh, guys. Waltrip's over. One, into it. two, three times for Michael Waltrip. Well, there's the now, big one the right big there. One. Cars are pretty even in one and two, but Jamie is getting in the three. Oh, oh well, he got in a little bit too good there. And that walk the six to three. He goes to the corner. That's Tracy Leslie. And the six and the four car, Purvis goes up, just touches him in the rear. Enough to there. Put him in the wall. Here comes the joy. And Mark Martin, I don't think hit anything, guys. Mark got into the back of the 64. Mark really didn't hit anything. Well, Joy, you, like you did see Bobby. <laughs> That's Casey Mears in between them. Oh, it just breaks yeah, loose. Just yep. Loose and you see Jeff go to the high side gets pinned on the outside wall. And that's huge for Jeff Gordon, who entered 11th in the standings, had a wild card position, only a three. There's a better look at the contact. Well, he's in the gas all the way to here. Yeah. Wow. She went airborne when she landed. It landed right on the nose. Not going to steer too well at this point. Casey Kane turned around. Typical Talladega wreck. Yeah. Two cars get together, 12, 13 cars end up being victim. Yeah, Benson slammed up into the wall and Bliss. Well, watch that 38 car go all the way across pit lane and slam right into it right there. What triggered it, and this picks it up midway, whether or not there might have been contact. Kenny Wallace was in the middle there. You see the three car? Oh. Jeff Green. And Jeff Purvis was one of the last watch cars in right it. Here. Yeah, it's hard to tell from that exactly what happened, but he was definitely out of shape when he got there. The number eight. Kenny Wallace has just looked at this. These cars are 
wrecking all in front of him and around him. He wow. did get some right side damage because he got in the outside wall, but <laughs> it could have been a whole lot worse. You know, the best I can tell, four of our top five in points were involved in that wreck. The only one that was not involved is Clint Boyer in the two car. Side by side battle there. The whoa, 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 the Here they go. It, oh. oh! Hang on to it. Hang on to it. That was arrow loose right there. I know you hate it when I say that word, but that's what it was. And Mike Bliss this is off of turn two, coming down the back stretch. There you see the 36 car already sideways. Mike Coke, Coke just evading yeah. damage all the way down in the infield. There you see the three car, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. sideways. There you see the four car. Just as he's entering three, right front tire, let's go. Hard impact into the wall, but he is out of the car and okay. He did on himself and he got hit there, so I thought maybe somebody just lost their temper with, with him, but. Wow, did Jimmy Johnson just get through? I think you're right. It might have been Casey Kane instead of the 19. Goes Jeremy. It's Carl Edwards. Yes, sir. First car that goes by. There's Dale Shaw's four. And Tim Zock in the yellow machine there, the 95. They got tangled up at the same time. Look at Tracy Leslie. Where is Michael? Oh, he's already in there. I see he's there. caught on the yeah. inside. He looked like yeah. he tried to sneak by low and couldn't get room. Yeah. Tracy Leslie. It looks like that was that somebody touched Terry Labonte and just turned him sideways. He goes down and whap right in the side of Rusty Wallace. We see Purvis go hit that wall head on. Like that may have been. emergency to get with your teammate. Oh, look out. Here it oh, go. Man. Right into the wall. Yeah. McMurray. Kyle Bush is involved. The 66 and the 99 of Waltrip goes around. Right there with McMurray and unable to get the car stopped. Good job to miss this bunch. There's a 35, or did he? He got the back of Shaw. I'd see Linda Namick ran in the back of four car. That's what turned the four car around. And he comes into this 80 car hard. Watch this car jump up in the air and he hits. Both, Both back up. ends up in the air. The end of the one barrier and into the other now. Parsons already sideways. Looks like some contact behind him. There's Mark Green's car. And then Mark Green slides backwards to block the track, and that's where it all, um, that's where it all. Yeah, yeah, by yeah, the the 40. Hold on, low, blown tire, stay low, come on, low, low. Usually a left from the outside. The two car upside down, over and on to Scott Briggs. It's the big one. Oh boy, who is that still flipping? Sauter, it was Johnny Sauter. There's not anybody left. I mean, I only see about four or five cars that are coming around through three and four right now that were not in this race. They see Mike McLaughlin in 18. They're still. Out just, of the groove. That just took off on him. Try to fight on the left side, just like yesterday. Here they come at the track. Wow. And it's McMurray. No, it's not. It's Buda. Michael Dye. Jamie slides across to finish second. Man, two days in a row. Have two we... fabulous <laughs> finishes. It looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. Wow. And then corrected, maybe. I. Yeah, that's really a strange. Man, Matt did a good job not hitting that car, but then he got clobbered. See Blaney in that, and Blaney had had a good run. Those guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight in that seven car. Yeah. Three wide, one, four wide, and that's not what you want to do. And he gets tagged in the right rear quarter panel. Almondinger does, and Keselowski's like, where did this come from? I didn't even see that one coming. There was... That was just one freak accident in the one car. Got in the back of that, and that's what started. He was down on the inside and trying to stay off. It looked like the car got loose, and he was trying to catch it there. But And when he got down into the grass, it just tore the front end off of it. You can see right there as Ryan Newman got down into the... Yep. 
I'm not sure that Kevin LePage knew Bobby Hamilton Jr. was even there. He may well not have, and uh, until they got right Trouble to the coming off a two already. Matt Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh he hit the on the head. Donnie Nuremberg in 52. He's rubbing pretty good. He's had some major contact. Oh, oh, yeah. oh big crash. Right up in front of Bliss, and oh, Bliss just pops oh, it. We just blew it. He got run into. We're in the wall. We're on fire. Need to get out. Got out of the gas to, because of this accident in front and uh, got hit from behind. Well, this was, as I said, the one in the 99 had problems earlier. Trouble, Trouble back two. in the corner. It's Randy LaJoy turned around in traffic into the outside wall. Back he's on the pit road right now. That is happening so fast right there coming off turn two. I mean, that was a hard lick on the inside that pit wall or that wall. All right, so it is David Stremme. Right. So to get this clean up, taken care of. That means no work can be done on the cars once the red flag is put out. The cars will be stopped on the track. On board with Ashton Lewis. Let's take Sorensen a look. He's stuck on the outside there. Oh, oh his contact. Oh, we got a big fire. problem. Oh, right in the head onto the wall. The 29 car of Scott Wimmer, contact from the inside on the five. Waving at James Busher behind him. Oh, oh we got trouble. trouble. No, look out, Carl Edwards turns, and we've got multi-cars into the wall. Leffler's involved in this. The 62 have gone. The 21 of Boyer. I'm just ready to say something. The I'm just ready to say something, you. Here's where they make the contact. Four breaths. We keep holding our breaths when they get four breaths. That's why we hold our breath, because, it, again, they have to be so precise. Looks like Jimmy Johnson, the 92 car, also involved, right? Yeah, it does, uh, Benny. And, you know, what we bounced off of by Paul Menard in the 11th. Oh, still bouncing around. Oh! McLaughlin's into the wall, and it's Bliss that's involved. No, oh, easy. Oh, Johnny Sauter with a big hit. And Sauter had already hit something. Very hard. Ooh, that's a hard hit. Mike Bliss been dodging Rex, staying out, he's finding the holes. Still outside, crash front of you. Right out. Right here, yeah. They got him, guys, they got him. Hang on, Mike, hang on. Yeah, we could hear Robert Richardson's spotter telling him he was clear to the middle. Great run on the bottom of the race, but it gets loose off the corner and goes up and catches. Is that Strimmy? Wally? Yeah. Uh, Johnny Benson in the one, Nemechek in the eight. Well, I really think as this race goes on, it's going to tighten up more of the tracks and get more grip like Matt Kenseth, our in-race reporter, said earlier. He said, you know, it's going to change, and they're ready for it. Richard John so desperately wanted to get a good finish here. They had uh, talked to a couple of sponsors in this week about being on board in 2008 for that 